Today we're checking out Summoner's Fate, the game where you throw flying squirrels at your enemies. I can control this person by clicking on these square tiles and they move around. This is my summoner. I am the guide who controls them. Ooh, battle. Drag Sylvia on an enemy to move an attack. Oh, so you click and drag. Interesting. All right, go get him, Sylvia. Do some damage. Okay, two damage and is dead. Excellent. Units can be ordered once per turn. Move an attack or a single command. I click the check mark to end my turn. Enemy turn. They walk towards me, attack me for one. I counterattack for two. Units counterattack once per round, unless they are backstabbed or overkilled. This Icon indicates their attack has been used. Okay, got it. And we killed it in the counterattack, but this thing we can't counterattack, so we already used our counterattack that turn. <laughs> I like how she just looks up and stares me in the eyes. Like, tell me what to do, overlord. All right, you turn around and attack this thing. Give it a nice big slap in the face, and it's done. And it drops some stuff. Victory, and they're doing a little victory dance. Okay, we click continue. I guess we gotta pick this stuff up. We'll click that. You found meteor shower. Cost three. Deal three fire damage to all units in a five by five area. I guess this game also has like a deck building mechanic as well. Very interesting. Cards. Hold three in your hand at a time. Drag cards to cast with your summoner. Played cards. Go to discard pile. Draw up to three when ending your turn. Mana. Use to play cards. Gain three per turn during combat. Store up to five. Got it. Here's the scroll. You can pause the video if you want to read this. You found lore. Lore gives you a strategy about the game. Let's go check this out up here. Looks like another card for us to grab. You found gravity blast. Cost two mana. Push all units in front of you five spaces away. All right, we'll take it. And we'll go to the edge of the screen over here to see what's on this side of the world. Hello. Battle. Your turn. Ooh, got a mana bar now. First turn advantage. You recede first turn in battle, a highly advantageous position. To balance this, the player who goes first generates two mana on their first turn instead of three. Is this game gonna end up being like a PvP between actual real people game? Ooh, I can click on them to get information about them. Let's click the highlighted card here. I can click and drag Gravity Blast. We'll use Gravity Blast to push all these guys back a little bit. Yeah, get away from me. It dealt damage by knocking them into the vines. Interesting. So you can use the terrain to your advantage. We'll end turn. Well, I still have moves remaining. I don't want to end turn. I thought uh, I was done. I guess you can cast a spell and move an attack. We'll move an attack and take this person out and all right. You see the dagger, you know it's a backstab. Backstab units can't counterattack. Got it. And he's dead. Victory dance. Three stars. Let's go. Got a new spell. You found wolf. Costs one mana. Oh, it's a creature. It's a three, two. Loyal war cry. All ally enemies get plus one, plus zero until their next turn. Its bark is as bad as its bite. Interesting. So we're like, oh, we are, duh. We're a summoner. Of course we're going to summon creatures. It's in the name of the game. Come on, ZG. Use your brain. Got some lore here if you want to pause the video and read that. We'll be on our merry way. Can I like walk through the vines and hurt myself? No, but I can attack and destroy the vines. That's interesting. Over here, probably new battle, right? No, it's an item. I'll take this. Oh, no way. Unit abilities. You found oaks and an unlock the druid's awesome power to hurl squirrels at your enemies. I love it. Every unit Summoner's Fate has a card that explains their special abilities. To view any unit's card, press to hold them. Let's inspect the card. Summoner Farshot. Hurl a 1-1 one, one squirrel. Deal 1 damage. I love it. Very cool. It's a 2-5. I guess she's a 2-5. If you want to read this description of the ability, you can pause the video and read that. Hurl a squirrel to powder keg. Will do. And there it is. Boom. Squirrel thrown. Excellent. Remember to use Farshot. Your target may not be adjacent or diagonal. Okay. We'll move on down through here and keep exploring this world. This game actually looks pretty cool so far. I'm liking it. What's down here? Money. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Look at that. Ooh. That's actually pretty interesting. It'll grab like in an area around you. Very neat. So you can grab more than one at once. Yeah, 300 gold. We'll need that for something eventually. What do we have over here though? Ooh, weather effect. We've got, it's raining now. And lightning? Okay. I see you game. I see you. Looking legit up in here. What is this guy all about? Be ye friend or foe. I'm gonna click you. Mercenary for hire. 300 gold. He'll join me. Inspect his card. Ooh, he's strong. Three damage. 11 health. He can fly. That's really good. Yeah, he seems pretty good. I'm, I'm in. Let's uh, pay 300 gold to hire the preserver. Let's go. He joined our party as a guardian. It's a guardian. You can pause the video if you want to read all this, but basically they're permanent allies. Seems pretty cool. You can have up to two at a time. If they die, you can resurrect them. Oh, hello, enemies. My turn. I think I'm going to summon the wolf over here. Come on, wolf. Do some amazing things. Ooh. Buffs. You received a buff. Press and hold to view the buff and last until the end of battle. If I click and hold on you, it shows the buff that you have. Plus one, plus zero until the next turn. Okay. If I click on you. You can go take this thing out, right? Fantastic. I like it. So get them all. Can you reach to attack this thing? Or can I get you to use your, like, probably get you to hurl a squirrel is what I want to know. Can I just, like, left click it and you throw the squirrel? Let's go. <laughs> get him, squirrel. Wait, can I make the squirrel attack too? Yes, let's go. Get him, squirrel. <laughs> Oh no, the squirrel got poisoned. This game's super cool. Poison is exactly what you would think would be. Oh, rip the squirrel, he died. But he killed the bee too. Interesting, the bee died, but it still counterattacked even in death. Interesting. Oh wait, the wolf is just chilling with me now. I don't have to like resummon him. Very neat. I'm gonna grab this health. It'll probably heal me up, right? Found a life fruit. Your maximum life has increased by three and wounds have been healed. That's really good, actually. Grab the lore. You can pause the video if you want to read that. Let's pick this up. What is this? Oh, that's nothing. That's just like part of the world's decoration. Mushrooms or something. Oh, hello. Nice. The wolf buffed us right at the start. I don't have enough mana to cast anything. Our cards are one-time use because that one card I used a while ago was just like gone. Haven't seen it again since. Maybe cards are one-time use. Look at these guys, see their details. They're all 1-1, one, one, so they shouldn't be too tough to deal with. Let me have my insect guy come and take this guy out right here with a nice little stabby, stabby, pointy, pointy. The wolf can reach you to take this guy out, and you're done, son. He does kind
counterattack, though. Wait, he's not dead? Oh, because he had a shield. I think his shield protected him. Maybe you should use your Far Cry ability to finish him off. There we go. Get that guy out of there. Then the squirrel can come. Ooh, my wolf's actually going to get killed because he only has one hit point. So that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Squirrel's going to take this guy out. There we go. The counterattack takes him out. We end our turn. I don't feel like things are going to go so well for the wolf here. Nope. That wolf is a goner. But he went back into my discard pile, so maybe we can resummon him in the next battle, perhaps? You can go ahead and uh, just finish that guy off for us. That'd be great. Ooh, dropped a lot of stuff, huh? Victory. What do we get here? Got three cards just sitting there. Oh, it's a choose a card. Okay. Dude, this game is so cool. Animal growth is pretty good. Give an ally plus three plus three. If it's small, you can mutate it. That seems pretty sick. Give a unit downfall. Deal four fire damage to a three by three area. Also pretty cool. Dude, sick. Transform a tree into a four seven tree ant. Discard it, draw a tree ant. Dude, animate tree. Let's go. Can I, like, are we talking about these tree stumps? I'm gonna try it. animate tree. Yeah, let's get that. That's to our card. I'm hoping I can use it out of tree stump or one of these trees, I guess. Grab some lore. Some more lore if you guys want to read this. We go on our merry little way. Another battle. What a surprise. Well, we definitely need to use uh, animate tree. Wait a second. What oh, I guess I need to have like a tree. Oh man, we picked a bad card. I thought I could use it on one of these trees around the map, but it doesn't actually seem to be the case. No valid targets. Feels bad, man. What a wasted card to grab. Oh well, it'll come handy in the future. Might as well throw a squirrel to take out you. Bam, get wrecked. And then you can go t uh, take out this guy for me as well. Oh, I can pick up the cards in the middle of battle. Interesting. You found squirrels. Summon two one one armored squirrel. Armor one lunge. Nice. I'll take that. Oh, and it's uh, they took each other out. Okay. Oh wait, I can use this card right away. Sick. Yeah, I'm gonna summon two squirrels. Let's go. We'll get them, boys. They're armored to boot. I want you to come uh, deal some pain to this guy over here. There we go. Wrecked. Oh, he didn't counterattack. You can come attack this guy as well. Take a little bit of a uh, aggro from him. Do these guys not get counterattacked? Maybe their ability lunge prevents them from counterattack. Move you position. Why not? End turn. Looks like he's gonna attack uh, an armored squirrel. He was still able to kill it, so it's not like the armor protects you from an entire attack. I mean to move him back, but uh, we'll have you come here and uh, eat up the counterattack if he's got one. There it is. You can throw in a flying squirrel to smack him for one damage, and the flying squirrel can take him out. Dude, I love this mechanic of just like summoning flying squirrels to attack these guys. It's great. What a fun idea. My squirrel stays alive and follows me. Nope, he just leaves. Bye, buddy. What are these? Let's pick these up. Fate. You found a D20. Oh, interesting. So it's like a DD inspired thing. Use dice to influence the outcome of fate encounters. The more dice you roll, the better chance of a successful outcome. Interesting. Got it. So grab this lore. You can pause the video if you want to read that. And down we go. Ooh, this guy's locked in cage. Friend or foe? Let's talk to him. Caged bear. Freeing the bear could be dangerous, but I'm still going to open the cage and let it out. I decide to open the cage. Roll a D20. My highest result decides what happens. Interesting. 1 to 7, it's angered attacks. 8 to 14 runs away. 15 to 20 joins my party. Let's use all of the D20s that we have. Increase the odds of getting to join our party, because I want a bear on my side. Roll the dice. Come on. Yeah, we got a 15. Let's go. Bear joins your party. It's worth using the extra three dice. Continue. Oh, he loves us. Joins our party as a guardian. Let's go. With a bear on our side, no one can stop us. Ooh, what's this? Campsite. Limited one-time use resources, so choose wisely when to rest. Everybody gets healed. Cards get reshuffled. Beaten people get revived. And change your party and can rebuild your deck. Interesting. Got it. So seems like a good thing to do. Let's go to the campsire. Campsire? Campfire? Campsite? I can't talk. Oh, neat. So you can take the stuff if you want to use in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and make camp because I want to see what it's all about. Got our cards back in our deck. Means we can summon our wolf, right? How do I do stuff here? Ah, I click the deck and this pops up. Can't seem to do anything here. What's this? Oh, it's a map. Ooh, very detailed one at that. Neat. Well, I'm not sure how I customize things. Oh, I click him and that's something pops up. Well, we only have two guards to choose from, so that's fine. Well, I guess that's about it. So let's uh, mosey on out of here, huh? We'll break camp. Might have been a waste, to be honest. No, no, we got our cards redrawn, so that's fine. Ooh, what's down here? This looks spooky. Ooh, hello. Ooh, chest, I'll take that. I just threw a squirrel at it. Not what I meant to do, but whatever. I'll get some uh, gold here. What these things all about? I can break these. Questions, are they have anything in them? They do. There's a D20 in gold. Let's go. I'll take all that. Thank you. So it's worth it to break stuff open. Can we open this? Yeah, we just walk right through it. No big deal. Kind of dark and hard to see in here, but maybe that's the point. Oh, that's better. Ooh, it's got zoom in. Zoom in on that thing for us. Is that like a boss? Must be, right? Mini boss. Ah, it's an elite. Okay. Oh, they're elites are enemy summers control, but no guy on the other side of the veil. Interesting. If we defeat the enemy summer, we win instantly. Okay. All right, let's click and hold on you to see what you're all about. Summoner inflicts poison. That's kind of gross. Well, I don't want to get poisoned. Let's go ahead and uh, summon these squirrels, because why not? I want you to go attack this thing for me. You'd be so kind, and you're gone. I want you to go attack him as well. A little more damage. No contact for you this time. Let's have... Oh, the bear can't reach. I didn't want the bear to move there. That's weird. So if you click one unit and then click another unit, it doesn't just like switch who you're selecting. It tells them to move to them. So they have to like cancel some other way. So I can walk past them. So it's up in the action. Ooh, he flies. That's right. Guess we'll go ahead and summon a wolf over here. So he buffs... I should summon the wolf first. He buffs our guys. We'll go have you go attack and mess him up for a little bit. So we'll start keep pushing the fight. We'll do. I want you to summon a squirrel there. Bam. Man, the music really went up a notch, huh? Well, I guess you guys won't hear it since I edit that out, but for me, it's quite something, huh? In there. You're taken out, and these guys should despawn. Let's go. Restart victory all the way. Oh, my little squirrels are leaving me. Ooh, health up. Let's go. I'll take that. Maximum life increased by three. Wounds are healed. Ha! What wounds? Grab these cards. Card choice. Orc Battlehorn. All allies get plus one, plus one. Orcs and goblins
ones get plus two, plus two. Give an enemy poison two, only costs one. Dragon Hatcher. Place a zero four egg with downfall. Summon a dragon whelp under your control. Well, we've got to try out the dragon hatcher, don't we? We'll grab that. It's so cute looking too. Downfall. So basically, the enemies have to like, kill it first. Okay, well, we'll try that out. Go ahead and grab the three uh, D20s there and get the lore as well. You can pause the video if you want to read this. And on we go. The Cosmic Tortoise. I've read lore about you. What are you all about? I'll click you. you. Found the Cosmic Tortoise. Oh, so this is where I store my cards and how probably how I edit my deck at the campsites. The Ordal Portals too. Interesting. Okay. Oh, the demo's almost over. Well, let's fight one of the powerful bosses, obviously. Yeah. How do we want to stop now? Let's fight a big boss. Hello, sir. Ooh, a noisy one, aren't you? The Lich King. Ooh, he has lifesteal. Oh, nice. They gave me new allies and more cards. So they buffed me to fight him to make it like a fair fight. Okay. Very cool. The skeletons, all these guys are like 1-1s. One He's a 320. He has lifesteal and pierce. Oh, I can use the animate trees. I just have to have trees in the battlefield. Yeah, let's go. Let's turn this thing into a tree. Why not? Come on. Dude, sick. Awesome. Look at him. It's a 4-7. Let's go. Let's hit this guy for 4 damage. Bam! Oh, the knockback. Gets slapped. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You should probably take out these skeleton things. I imagine would be a good call. You can come take this thing for... Oh, he's got an AoE attack. He attacked two at once. Let's go, bear. Should have attacked the middle one. He could have attacked uh, three at once. That's good to know. We'll throw a... Uh, ooh, that's a two one. Probably should throw a squirrel to take this guy out. Bam, flying squirrel. Take him out. Good job. Oh, they counterattack for two. I didn't realize the counterattack. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Archer's counterattack. Not a common theme in these kind of games, but here we are. Might as well slap this guy up. There we go. Good job, squirrel. That was a great first turn. Now we end turn. He's coming in for the attack. He killed my squirrel. Got one hit point back for himself. And he's going to summon a skeleton archer right there. He's using soul harvester. What's that? Oh, he summoned a soul harvester. And that thing attacks. Soul harvester attacks. So the things he summoned can like take action right away. Dude, my tree ant just got messed up. Soul harvester's a 2-2 flying pierce lifesteal. Nasty. All right, I want my bear to use his AoE. Oh, he can't reach. Come on, bear. Get in there. All right, fine. Just move closer, I guess. What about you? Can you reach anybody? No. Wait, why are they like highlighted green? I'm gonna click and see what happens. Oh, he can heal. No, my dude could heal. Let's go. Should have healed him, actually. Some cards I can use. Heal minor wounds. Not a terrible choice. How hurt is this guy? He's only down by three hit points, which isn't terrible, but he could potentially die here. Copy all small or mutant animals. Don't have any out right now. Killer bunnies. Summon two killer bunny here. So I could summon these guys and then, like, duplicate them. So summon two killer bunnies right here. Boom. Then we use a uh, breed to copy them. And boom. We got four little bunnies. Let's go. And I might as well use the heal minor wounds to keep this guy alive because he's kind of a boss. Keep him in the action. I want you. Uh, you guys can't reach, but I can have you, like, maneuver your way over there to be prepared for future battles or something. Go, my evil bunny minions of death. Prepare battle and glory for me. I'm gonna attack a skeleton archer with a squirrel over here. Ah, the counterattack, I forgot. It's okay, we got enough health. Let's take this guy out here with that squirrel. No, the shield! Crap, now my squirrel's dead. Oh, I need you. Let's chest here stuff I can open. What is this? I am curious about this. Uh, you, you do too much damage. Just give him a little slap. Bam! Combo, no way! Take him down with the combo. Triggers an enemy's knock next to your unit. Can't be counter, use up unit's command. That's so cool. I didn't know that was a mechanic in the game. That's that's awesome. Let's go. Combo attacks. Freeze. Freeze target enemy. So he's going to freeze somebody. The bear. Hit me with the debuff. Okay. Skeleton warriors. Got two of them. Nasty. And they have the ability to block, which are their shields, dude. No, my bunny. Yeah, counter. Yeah, go get him, bunny. Counterattack got him. Oh, they're messing up my bear and he can't do anything about it because he's frozen. Feels bad, man. They're vicious. Oh, my bunnies. My sweet, precious baby bunnies. You got to stop this. They're too innocent. Attack him from behind. It should just kill him, right? Because the backstab, no counterattack. Yeah, good job, bunny. I probably. Oh, I can't reach any. This guy can't reach attack anybody. I want him to interact with this. Just see what it does. What is this? Okay, so I guess maybe it had some stuff on it they took. I don't know what that did. I don't feel like it changed the stats any. I have no clue what that did. Ooh, I should have uh, checked my cards before I had my guys attack. Animal growth. Yes. Make my bunny stronger. Plus three, plus three. Mutate it. Sick. Look at him. He's a beast. How much hit points does this guy have? He's got uh, 12 left, so I can't kill him, but I can give my dude plus two, plus two, and give him lunch. There we go. Give it to him again. Plus two, plus two, and lunch. Yes. You're unstoppable machines. You're just a 311. I'm gonna have you heal my main character because you don't want to risk dying. That heal's nice, though. And then my 8-8 eight, eight bunny mutant is just gonna come over here and just hit this dude for uh, 8 damage and really mess him up. He does heal a lot of it back, though. Might as well summon a squirrel. Ooh, the music's getting triumphant. Whenever the enemy summoner gets a little hit points, the music gets, like, triumphant and, like, epic. Take this uh, evil thing out. I kind of don't want to... I think I could probably rush the battle and win, like, really quick here. I kind of want to, like, explore more mechanics and see what else we can see card-wise. Drain life deal, 2 psychic damage. No! Skeleton captain. Look at all this stuff this guy has. It's sick. It's a beast. Maybe I should focus and kill him quick, because we are, I feel like, on the verge of losing, to be honest. He's actually kind of tough. I could polymorph one of their guys into a 1-1 one -one squirrel. Lightning bolt or fireball. Does he have anything really tough? He did summon a 4-8 skeleton captain, which is pretty deadly. I can polymorph it into 1-1 one -one squirrel, so now it's just no real big deal at all. I need my treant to come over here and just mess 
messed this guy up. Had enough out of you, sir. Yeah, that's right. I guess she can just, uh, wait, what's this? She can use a squirrel to attack the chest? Let's do it. Throw that squirrel over there. Open that chest for me. It just disappeared. Maybe we shouldn't be attacking these things in the middle of battle. Get that squirrel more into position, shall we? Should probably kill this squirrel, too. I kind of want to use his ability to heal, though. Yeah, heal my bear up a little bit. I guess it's only a 1-1. One, one. We can ignore the squirrels. Hit you for four damage with this guy right here. He just counterattacks and gets a lot of it back. That's attacking multiple times per turn is good. Should attack him with that person. would have healed up less. Oh, my bear's back in the action, though. Yeah, take four damage. You get knocked back. I like that. My little, uh, squirrel getting here? Not quite fast enough. Now we end turn. What's he gonna do? Walking over here, he's summoning a necromancer. He's got a lot of things he can summon. This is really cool. He attacks me for two, and it summons- No! He summoned a summoner! That's OP! <laughs> That's not okay! So I got the lightning bolt. Got a fireball. Detonate. Ooh. If we use the fireball like this, we can damage him and his summoner for three damage. Four damage. You're almost there. Keep pushing the fight. Let's go. There we go. That's some good damage. Um, this thing has one health. Oh, this guy needs to move out of the way. I need you to come destroy this thing. Get that out of my face. There we go. I want this. To not my character. Oh, crap. Anybody reach? No, you guys are still not in range. You come take this guy out. Yeah, get out of here. Get him out of here. Let's get my guys moving over there. We'll get there eventually. Should we just end it now with a flying squirrel? No, he's got two hit points. We might be able to end it with a flying squirrel. Hit him for one, then hit him again. Boom. Wait, does he lifesteal? No, he does lifesteal and doesn't die. All right, fine. I see how it is. Slowly get these guys over here. Speed's a little bit lacking. The end turn. This might be your last turn, evil Lich King. Oh, no. We're actually kind of about to die. The counterattack, though. He's casting a lightning bolt. If we're not careful, he could kill us here if he's used, like, really strong cards. And the squirrel. I want you just to heal them because I'm scared. And we'll... I guess we'll slap you for two. I forgot, but he just counterattacks and gets the health right back. That's a problem. Oh, boy. We've got some cards we can use. All allies heal three life. I'm all about that because we are kind of hurting right now. I'll use a lightning bolt just to deal some damage in a straight line. Deal two to you. Maybe the hair can reach him and kill him. Killed by a mutant hair or regular hair. Yes! <laughs> Lich King has been destroyed. Let's go. Victory. Three stars. Fantastic. And that's the end of the demo. I really enjoyed this game. I'm super excited to see more. What a fantastic game. If you want to try out the demo for yourself, there's a link down in the description down below. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya!